Well, it. I just don't trust monks. You want your beer to have balls in it? Hey everybody, this is Alabama Boss with Craft Brew Review, The European Vacation, part two. Gonna try a few different countries and some of the same. For this first beer, this is Einstock. So this beer is a white ale. It is ale brewed with red and orange peel, which doesn't matter, but they use glacier water. <coughs> Where'd that come from? So with this beer, they use glacier water. It's out of Iceland. This stuff is brewed like 60 miles from the Arctic Circle. So I would be lying if I said I've never had this beer. Real short story, I was in California at this bar and they had Einstock on tap. And I absolutely loved it. And I thought, how can I get that beer in Alabama? I didn't see it for a long time. And it showed up, I didn't like it. It's not the same. Out of the tap, and however it got to Alabama, I don't know, it wasn't good. But here it is, I haven't tried it out of the can. I'm gonna try it again. I don't believe this is any different. I don't think there's any other Einstock Glacier Water White Ales, but anyway, let's just see how this one treats me. Sort of like an ex-girlfriend that people just keep going back to, I guess, you know? Maybe it's gonna be better this time. Looks nice. Good smell. You couldn't get any worse. You go and totally redeem yourself. That is the Einstock that I remember. I don't know if the bottles that I got a couple years ago were bad. I don't, know. I don't know. This is great. This beer right here in the can, it gives me hope. This is good. Now you know. You got a bitchin' Viking on right here, man. You can't beat a Viking. I just I love the Viking too. Yep. So we're back together. For now. Do you know? I think a Chinese man made me drink this in San Francisco. Why do I have these weird stories to go with shit? That actually happened. I got pictures of a Chinese man forcing a beer on me. <laughs> We're gonna move on now to the Peroni, which is out of Italy. Um, Roma. What's Roma mean in Italian? Things that make you go, hmm. I guess this means the natural ingredients. Ah, uh, not getting far with this. Just Peroni. Is that a 5%? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the ingredients. Pretty straightforward. And why can I not work this Leatherman? Why does this smell like weed? It smells like that old Delta 8 shit. Oh my God. It smells just like that. You will get your car searched. They're not gonna be looking for alcohol. They're gonna be looking for dope. Devil lettuce. You don't know. Uh, right out of the gate, I don't like the smell. The smell went from cheap dope off a of creek bank to a not for me smell. Meh. Yeah. That's what I get. It's just a, I don't know how it's, it, it smells like it does. It does have like a skunk smell. <laughs> I said skunk weed, he's like <laughs> <laughs> ah, mm. This Peroni here, um, I don't want to smell it, that's the problem. It's bland, it's kind of, I don't, I don't know. That's, no. Like it's just a simple yes or no here, this is a no. So. We're gonna move on now with Belgium. I don't know if you saw my first European trip. Belgium failed miserably with some monks. Well, them monks that up. I'm learning that quite a few monks out there brewing beer in Belgium. 14, I think, is what I'm told. Uh, so here's another one. The last, the last one just. 
the monks just really sucked it. But this one is Chimay, uh, Ground Reserve. Another one of these cellaring the beer for so long, but doesn't matter. I'm just gonna see what it tastes like and see if these monks are any better than the last monks. Monks? Hmm. I just don't trust monks. It is 9% alcohol down the hatch. No, 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 no. Monks, oh man. One, why are monks making beer? I don't even care. There's probably some smart ass out there that knows why. It doesn't matter. They need to stop. And nobody is waiting around going, man, has that monk beer come in yet? It's a, monks piss me off. I don't know why. I can't help it. It sticks. It, this is this this damn thing is stuck to the back of my throat. It's just stuck there. I don't even know why I'm pouring more. Pour one out for the monks. This beer is not as bad as the previous Belgium monk made beer. It's still not good. I don't like it. I, I think I, I think I can handle it better than pepperoncini here, whatever the f it is. So Ukraine's still exporting beer, huh? That's interesting. They sure did just take all the ammo without no problem. You know, with it being bombarded over there, they wouldn't be able to get their beer out. Here it is. So this next one here, um, it's out of Ukraine, which is interesting in itself to me. The Visca Premium Lager. This one comes from one of the largest brewers, maybe the largest in Ukraine, and got a hell of a bottle. 4.7, what the hell is that? It's like a dragon. Lev I don't know how to say the name. It's just a premium lager. I'm giving it a try. They better be sending some damn good beer as much money as we send them. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Damn. Wow, this looks super clean. Smells pretty good. It's not bad. I like it. Okay, so the so the I'm just gonna call it the the 1715 out of Ukraine. Uh, it's a good beer. Let's move on to Poland to Combs. This is barley wine. Rich and malty character, intense aroma. 12% alcohol to volume. Barley wine, already don't see this one floating in my boat, but uh, come this store for 36 months. The beer changes its taste. Now you can decide how long your combs will mature. Well, <laughs> you can buy it. Put the son of a bitch in the fridge and not drink it for a month or two. We'll see what Poland's got to offer. More cowbell, please. Look at that color. Looks like a hummingbird feeder. Okay, it says here, intense aroma. And yes, in the world of craft beer, which these don't really fall under, according to the monks it does, but anyway. This would be kinda weak. <laughs> in the world of drinkable beer, it's pretty intense. Mm, gets worse. This, by definition, is, is beer, are we sure? I could s maybe people drinking this out of a wine glasses, maybe? I don't know, and everybody's sharing. It's not beer. <clears throat> Why do they keep doing this to beer? Uh-uh, no. Rich and malty character. They don't even really try to sell it to me. I don't know what this cost a bottle. I'm guessing too much. 
I don't want to say it. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's okay. Uh, for instance, for the Reddit guys out there, I'm in your group. I don't talk. I just read. I don't read like important information. I just read. Y'all probably enjoy that. I, I don't know why. Somebody's buying it, not me. The idea that you can take this beer, it's right here on the back. Um, you can store it and the flavor will change. But who can prove that? 36 months? In 36 months, it may not taste like shit. I don't like it. This it is down here. Now, it's, this ain't beer. In my, if you're asking me, they call it a damn, a, a, a barley wine style ale. You know, it's out of Poland, so sorry. All right, our next one comes out of England. It's Buddington's Pub Ale. Oh, I can't hear it. Okay, th this thing, I, I don't need to shake it. I don't, because if it spews, then it's absolutely my fault. 1778, when it was first brewed, at the brewery in Manchester. Okay. Buddington was served using the traditional hand pour method, which mixes air with the ale as it pours, producing a distinctive creamy head and a smooth body with little gassiness. Yeah. It's a like a like a nitrogen filled ball in this damn thing. And it releases millions of tiny bubbles when opened. Cans give creamy head and authentic fresh taste of Buddington's pub ale. It this damn ball is in here and it helps imitate um, draft beer. Handful draft beer, that, that's what it does. What it says, that's cool. I don't know, it's just cool. Hell, it could be a damn ping pong ball with nothing in it for all I know, but let's see. <laughs> What happens if the ball has not functioned? Some of it hit me here and it squirted me. All that matters is does it taste good because it says smooth and creamy. Mm. When someone describes a beer that way, I'm like, ah, let me try something different. Jeez, look at the damn dirty ass. Oh, it's clearing up like really quick and the bubbles. I want to get this damn ball out of there. Pretty neat looking ball too. I'll get it out later. First, I'm gonna try this. Look at that. It is millions of little bubbles. Why do I smell banana? It's not the yellow can. I really smell banana. Or something. Is that creamy? I mean, damn. Well, look at you. That's interesting. That is like. That's like not. I don't know. That is. First, I like this beer, but it is real, I mean, really, really light. I would recommend this beer. I would recommend to try this beer just for everything going on with it, with the, the little ball, the, the squirt in the face when you open it, I mean, the whole nine yards. It says for best results, serve cool, but not ice cold. Odd. It says 41 degrees. Buy that son of a bitch right there. They did good. So, uh, after this uh, second trip around Europe, uh, we're gonna go Iceland. England, yet again. Um, Belgium, still sucking it. And Italy, yeah. 
The rest of them can just go. No need. If you like a light beer and you want your beer to have balls in it, go with that one. I'm Alabama Boss with Rated Red. Have a good one.